Come on, Mari, let's go. Come on, go play. So today is January 10th, which is more or less the dead of winter. And usually this time of year, I don't tend to talk about wild edibles too much because quite frankly, there's almost nothing to eat. There are a couple things, but you know, if we were hunter gatherers as well as nomads, we would definitely be migrating south or at least eating a lot more nuts and meats and that kind of thing. That being said, there are a couple things worth mentioning, one of which is madrone berries. And so in this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna use this opportunity, hiking my dog around in nature, to harvest some madrone berries, show you what to look for, show you which parts are edible. And so if you're into that kind of thing, please do stick around, because it should be kind of fun and educational. Believe it or not, about a week ago, there was about two feet of snow laying right here. And then we got a very warm southern wind and it melted all the snow. And there's also lots and lots of wind blowing in gusts of up to 95 miles an hour. And it cracked a bunch of trees like this madrone here. And so the reason that's good for us is because madrone trees are extremely tall. They grow up to like 100 feet tall and the berries are at the very tops, kind of up in that region. And so you can imagine that if you're a forager or a harvester, it's not ideal to be harvesting way up in the tree canopies. And so we're gonna use this unfortunate windfall to our advantage and hopefully climb into some of the down branches and harvest some berries. Maybe since we're here and we have this beautiful fallen branch, we can study some of the tree characteristics that'll help us identify these berries. So this tree is known as the madrone. I already mentioned that they grow rather tall, up to 100 plus feet. The bark on these trees is very flaky, almost like a birch. So then it kind of comes off in paper-like flakes, just like so and it's a reddish brownish hue, kind of a rust color. As the tree matures, it expands and it flakes the bark off. And underneath all the flakes, there's a very smooth skin-like tree. So a really good identifying characteristic of the madrone is that it kind of looks like human skin. It's very smooth to the touch. This is also a very hard wood really great for saunaing and heating your house with. It's very, very hard. And so a lot of people that have wood stoves in their houses and their banyas, they like to burn this stuff. And so that's the identifying characteristics of the tree itself. Now, I don't really wanna go down <laughs> this hillside, it's rather steep. So we're gonna walk up the trail a little bit more and see if we can't find a branch that's easier to work with. Here's another bark specimen right here. So there's an outer bark that's scaly and papery. And then eventually it flakes off and you see this very smooth skin-like tree underneath. And here's also a nice madrone leaf specimen right here. So as you can see, the leaves grow in an alternate pattern which just means that they alternate on the stem. These ones look like they've been chewed by something. Let's try and snag this one right here. Bring it to us. Come here. Look at that. We're gonna try and keep them on the tree. So that is a prime example of alternating leaf pattern right there. See how it kind of alternates? left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left. And then the leaves themselves are very waxy. They look shiny on top. And on the bottom, they look more white, almost like they've been powdered by something. So these are all good identifying characteristics of the madrone. Though for this plant, all you really need is the bark because that's a key giveaway. What'd you find? 
What'd you find? Let's see if she'll do this for you on camera. Hey, Mari, parkour. Good, 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 good. Come on, let's try it again, parkour. Good, parkour. Good dog, good dog. Here, come here, come here. Parkour. Good dog, good dog. Parkour just means jump over or onto things. My little girl turned four months old yesterday. She's quickly shaping up to be the best dog I've ever had. And all that it really took was the genius of Robert Cabrell on YouTube. Shout out to Robert yeah. Cabrell. And then Kylie and I have spent many, many, many hours working with her. Isn't that right, Mari? <laughs> we just have a wild beast running around us. So here's a good specimen of several different madrones, full grown. As you can see, they kind of have curved or bent trunks and they grow super duper tall. The canopy's way up there and the berries are at the very top. So if you're a forager and you don't like heights, generally speaking, these berries aren't gonna be your best friends. Lucky for us, there's a lot of downed trees this January and so we can pick these berries at ground level. Look at that. Just down trees everywhere. Freshly broken and sawed. This all just happened within the last two weeks or so. And there, there is where we're gonna work. That's a full grown madrone that's cracked and fallen down the hill. And then the canopy is laying right there where we can reach it. And so that's where I'm heading. Mari, come here, stay close. Here we go. Here is a good specimen of madrone berries. They grow in clusters at the top of a tree. And these things are red in color and look like they kind of look like strawberry fruit, which is another wild edible that I've talked about on this channel. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll link to another video I did about those. However, they're a lot smaller than strawberry tree fruit. Their color ranges from red to orange to yellow. These berries are edible and they taste kind of sweet and like mealy apples. So let's give one of these a try. mealy apples for sure. You know, if you're sitting at home and eating something delicious like a, a donut hot out of the oven, these berries probably won't do much for you in the way of taste. But if you're 50 days in on the show alone, you would probably kill to have a handful of these berries in your mouth. These berries are very nutritious. They're obviously high in vitamins and minerals, namely vitamin C. So this time of year in winter, if you want to not get sick with a cold, et cetera, et cetera, it's a great tool to integrate into your diet to kind of give yourself a natural boost. These are essentially like the wild version of emergency. You can eat them raw, you can cook them, you can make jams and jellies out of them. I like to throw them in smoothies because, well, I throw everything in smoothies. I actually brought a bag with me for harvesting berries this morning, but when I was taking Mari out of the car, I forgot the bag in the car. So today I'm gonna to be using my hat as a vessel for harvesting berries, madrone berries that is. And that's maybe a pro tip that if you wear a hat when you go hiking, one of the benefits of said hat is that you can throw various things in it and use it essentially like a bowl or a strainer because it has holes in it.
Mari. Look, here. What do you think? Good? Good dog. You want another one? Here. Okay, that's enough. We'll start at two. Whenever you're trying a new food for the very first time, I think it's a good idea to assume that you might be allergic to it. And so try it in very small amounts, regardless of who tells you it's edible. If it's a new food for you, try it in small amounts. And in that way, you can medi mitigate risk and reduce your chances of any sort of negative reaction, be it mild or major. So these berries I know are totally super duper edible, but in the foraging world, I am very reluctant ever to speak in absolutes. Like this is always edible. This is 100% edible because what's edible for one person might not be edible for somebody else. So, if you've never seen this berry before in your life, and this video is your introduction to it, don't blend a bunch of these in your smoothie. Just try one at a time. Eat one, wait a, f a little while, 20, 30 minutes. If you have a no negative reaction, that's likely a good indication that your body's good with it. And so then you can eat a few more. And if that leads to only positive results, then you can clear the plant for yourself and know that for you personally, the madrone berry is edible. There you have it, folks. Here's one delicious, nutritious edible that is readily available in the months of December and January. And if you didn't know before, now you know. For more videos that are just like this, but completely different, subscribe to my channel, Butenko Films. And as always, thank you so much for watching. What do you think, Mari? Should we go on a hike? We've been here long enough, huh? All right, toodles. <laughs>